Um, DC United have a new boss. Um, it is Wayne Rooney. And uh, we just wonder whether or not maybe he could make a rather big splash in the transfer market by signing Jesse Lingard. That was some of the indications I was getting uh, yesterday. One year ago, Lingard was flying high at West Ham United. Everyone was scrambling for his signature in the Premier League. Why would he move to the MLS at uh, his age, Trevor? Lifestyle um, for a good financial package, but not for elite football reasons, in my opinion. I think if he wants to be taken seriously as an elite footballer, he stays in Europe, um, stays in England, stays in the Premier League if he can. I'm sure there's offers on the table for him. Uh, I think if you're going out to DC, listen, each into their own. He's got that choice. You know, if he wants to have a bit of an easier life, be the big star over there, score a lot of goals, be successful, and have a different lifestyle. I think that's that's down to him. But I, if he wants to be if he wants to be fought upon as a, an elite footballer, still competing at the right at the top top level, he doesn't go to America, in my opinion. Uh, well, I, Wayne, how do you countenance them with Gareth Bale? Excuse me. How do you countenance that argument with Gareth Bale going there? I think Gareth Bale um, similar. I think Gareth Bale possibly could have got a, a Premier League club. Um, a little bit older, but you look at the quality and you look at what he's brought. But I think there's also a lot of baggage with Gareth, with what's gone, what's been said about him in the past and his his last couple of years at Real Madrid. Um, his huge financial well, his injury package. record is the biggest problem, isn't it? But is he been injured? You know, this is the problem. Well, he he's, has been injured, yeah. But, yeah, but, I mean, but he has been training. He's just not been selected. The discussion we had yesterday recently, we... but over the course of the last. Four I think five it's years, different. I think it's injuries. different. I think Jesse recently has shown some great consistency has, at West yeah. Ham, whereas him going to That's the MLS. Ago. Yeah, no, it's, a year and a lifetime of football is about, it's about seven, eight, nine years. But he's, of his he's still, you know, the right side of thirty. We discussed yesterday about Gareth Bale and this tragedy for a player of that ability to have this sort of legacy around him, where he should have been in an unassailable position, where he is recognised as generationally one of the greatest players around. But he is in and Wales. In Wales, he is. But mm -hmm. when you look at other parts of the football pyramid, right, there's no doubt that people review Lionel, Lionel Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo without any attribution of negativity right there's a negativity in certain quarters about Gareth Bale that his talent should never have had the question put to because he's gone to Madrid done wonderful things in Madrid and they dislike him there is he not satisfied he's fallen though? out he's, he's, satisfied. he's satisfied. He won, he won he? five Champions Leagues Granted. he's been set up for yeah. life and everybody well, else's played, life the, the and his ancestors the team, for the next the team 20 he generations for, the team he played for won five Champions Leagues and he was a major contributing force to a few of them but the legacy that he has at Real Madrid is not a particularly um well thought of one, isn't it? It's not. They have a, they have more regard for Steve McManaman, you know, who's a very decent player, but yeah. never achieved the height. It just went sour. Achieved. It just went sour, though. The relationship. I know. So going, and, and and I think he stuck up for himself a little bit. Um, well, sticking up for yourself, going in front of flag, saying you know, Wales golf and Real Madrid is not. Yeah, but why should he just be? Silly. Why should he just be the punch bag? Well, it depends what you think the punch bag is, and depends if you think if depends if you think that. Do you, you think the, he uh, achieved his potential? At, at he Real achieved Madrid. his potential for a certain amount of time until Real Madrid wanted to get him out the door, and when he didn't want to play ball with. When he didn't want to play ball with that, they brought out all this stuff to try and make. So you it... think he was victimised there? Absolutely. But what stuff did they bring out? I mean, you've, well, got, you've got you've got a players manager in Zinedine Zidane that understands the mind of an elite footballer that marginalised him. But yeah, so it... a club says, "I want you out the door." But you have to take some responsibility in that too. If right. So he's elite... got a contract. So he says, "I want to stay and fight for my position." Right. And the manager okay. doesn't want you. Right, so, so then do, the manager's going to... The, the manager won't last yeah, but long. but the owners of Real Madrid hamstrung the themselves, didn't they, by giving him such a contract that nobody else could ever compete with? Well, yes and no. It depends if your motivation in an elite sport... You, if you're Gareth Bale, you well, know... Do you walk you're, away from 600 grand a week? Depends what... Well, would I walk away from many things? I walked away from 50 million quid at Crystal Palace. So you make your decisions at times, right? You make the... You make you take the money, you pay your choice, right? Or you pay your money and takes your choice. The bottom line is it depends what you want to be. If you want to be sitting there earning £600,000 a week, uh, allegedly, and ultimately not playing football or if you want to be earning something close to that and playing football. Depends what your motivations are. Now, the question I put to Trevor was about Gareth Bale going to America because he's suggesting he wants to go to America to play in the 2026 20, World Cup, which I think is laughable. Going to DC United, who are second to bottom in the league, just got beat 7-0 by Philadelphia, mm. and having had a team in America playing in Washington State, I can assure you going to Washington isn't about lifestyle. It'll be about the economic package that he's able to achieve. Jesse Lingard has taken three years of his career and flushed it because he doesn't accept the principles of he's not really regarded that highly at Man United to get in their team. He had an opportunity to go to West Ham and he's made it about finances because he run down his contract to a free transfer because he knows that the free transfer side of things will enable his wage packet to be and at a certain level. Well, you, and that's his choice. It so is his, his choice, career, but do you think that he's going to earn the level of cash at DC United that he could have earned at West Ham United? West Ham United, as, an MVP, as we understand it, as a have player, made As an MVP him, in American football, yes, he will. 
Do you I've think so? made him yeah, what? I've made him what? What do you think they did with Rooney when he yeah, put him over Sam, there? No, 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 yeah, the I've designated made, player yeah, role. I know they yeah, can play them at a certain yeah, he's a amount of money. I've made him what? What offer of West Ham United made him? Well, they've made him an offer, a serious offer. I can't tell you what the details but it, are, but obviously they've made him a serious offer but to listen, play West Ham United. But listen, he's not signed for anyone yet. So a, I mean, in this, in this day and age, what do you consider a serious offer? We know that West Ham had to have their arms pulled up behind their back to meet the ridiculous demands that Kurt Zuma had, which was 130 grand a week, right? And people lose context of the fact that six and a half million pounds for a footballer, but that's where it is, right? So you believe, believe it or not, that's probably the territory that Jesse Lingard may well have found himself in. But because Wayne didn't. Rooney's earning 800 grand a year, which yeah. is, a, is is not the, the sort of money he would have earned if he was yeah, in the, the Premier but, League. But he's, the argue, manager, because he's not going to get in the Premier League anytime soon, is no, he? But, I mean, but Boris I'm Johnson earned 160 the grand a year as Prime Minister, who's probably going to earn £5 million pounds doing speaking engagements. So you think that Jesse Lingard's overall package, once endorsements, etc., etc., have been put together by DC United, will be as much as he gets at West Ham? Yeah, probably more. Because they'll, desi they'll designate him as a marquee player. Look what they paid I'm going to say lifestyle. I mean... Flying around, being able to be the the marquee player at that football club, the the the, the pinup boy. Plus, he will be successful because he's still got the quality. Listen, he's shown like he's still got the, the quality to be able to. And started, they're having a bad time. Now. And they're having they're a bad now, time. And that's why they've changed the manager. Biggest, and I think uh, obviously Wayne Rooney's got an affinity with the club. He did quite well when he was there. Um, I think they were struggling. And you look at the the, the situation. He was in League One. He walked away from that job because it, it was looking like, you know, one owner's coming in. No, that's not going to be a takeover. And he's got frustrated with that situation. And he's thought, you know what? I'm going to try my hand in America. And we've seen managers do it before. Yeah. Look at Patrick Vieira. He's done a great job. It, it can be a pathway back to the big time in yeah. England. One of the things that uh, you said was that Jesse Lingard would not be going to the MLS for elite football reasons. Wayne Rooney's not happy about comments like that, criticising the league. This is what he's had to say about it. I've seen a few a few articles, certainly back in England, um, on this as possibly a backward step in my managerial career. I really find that a bit disrespectful to, to this league. I feel the experience I gained at Derby County over the, the past 18 months has, has been great in my development as a, as a coach, as a manager. And to, to really come here back to the MLS, back to DC United, was an exciting challenge for me, um, something which... I feel can develop me as a coach, but also the team need um, to improve. And I really believe with my capabilities of developing players, young players, um, we can really get this club back to successful ways again. I heard you talk about this earlier in the yeah, week, so I won't absolutely. ask you the, uh, the same question again. But y you think it's probably a good move for Wayne because he's not going to get the level of remuneration or the profile I, I think in this country. I think it's a move that he's taken because he thinks it's the best move available to him and there's no disrespect to suggesting that the league I had a team play in America in American football yeah. we put the first team in American football that was owned by a British owner so I understand the dynamics of it look at the amount of American players that find themselves from the MLS in the UK I had two of them Greg Bahalter is the American captain and Jovan Karofsky you know look at them Christian Pulisic is, a, is another example of Talk American about. players but the standard Tyler is a Adams mile has just gone off to, uh, and Clint United. Dempsey and a few others right but you can't name many of them right because the quality of the MLS is a country and he can defend the pitch because what he's not going to go over there and go I agree it's not that standard but it might be a league that's improving is certainly well, in terms it's, of it's investment it worse. has got uh, a lot of investment over the course even of the last month or so with Apple TV doing a huge huge mm. 10 year decade global deal to invest in the how huge the, was it it was two hundred and fifty million pounds a year right, for so big, ten years. Right, so let's work that out. Right, so the Premier League That's gets three billion a year, and the MLS gets two hundred and fifty million. And you're going to describe that as huge. What did what did the uh, Premier League get back in nineteen ninety two? Irrelevant. MLS has been going for 15, 16, 17 years. Yeah, what did the Premier League get back in ninety two? But it was already a, that was already a heritage sport in nineteen ninety two. But don't describe it as a huge, huge deal. It's a because massive it's, deal. In, in, it's a massive deal for it's MLS. It's a massive deal. Two hundred million. It's a massive deal for MLS. Two hundred million. Because it is. Well, first of all, it's not, the, it's, it's not the only deal in town. It's not you. an exclusive deal. I Plus, it's you. a global deal, and it's about reaching lots of different markets and making it accessible to a load of people but so that in 10 years' time, it will be a much Grant better you. league. Well, we, I think it is a good move we will see. for Wayne Rooney. We will see. Going to DC. He's, he was at League One I agree club. with you. He was at a League One club. He's going to the Wayne MLS. Really to but what I about it, Jesse Lingard? I don't think it's... A, for me, if you want to be treated and talked about as an elite player, you don't go to America at 30 years old. Um, I think it's slightly different with Gareth because Gareth was on such a huge package when he was at Real Madrid and I think his name has been um, he's, he's been slandered a little bit when he was over in Real Madrid so he's coming back and he's thinking oh. what way me options are he did well when he was at Spurs he scored goals he, 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 I, I went to the last game of the season he was, he was excellent but what I would say is him going there is not the same as Jesse Lingard going to America I, I, I want to ask you what you thought about the fact that Jesse Lingard at 29 years of age, possibly going to the MLS. Yeah. Danny Rose, 
I played eight times last year yeah. for uh, Watford. Now to training with Tottenham again, and his career is has, stu- has stuttered and faltered. Mm. Ravel Morrison, another player yeah. from that generation yeah. who uh, achieved nowhere great, great near talent, his Morrison. potential. Yeah. Deli Ali, who burst onto the scene. Yeah was fantastic for the first few years and has disappeared off the face of the earth since. Well, he'll tell you. Mindset. It's not either. It's mindset. It's approach. These, boy, these boys, the world is full of talented people in commerce, in sport, in every aspect of it, but there's a difference between having talent and having the mental application to apply that talent on a consistent basis. Ravel Morrison has an innate talent, and so does Jesse Lingard, but the seriousness of how they want... David Bentley, I remember sitting in Spain with David Bentley, who was a very talented footballer, retiring at 28 years of age, 29 years of age, because he didn't fancy it anymore, and I'm looking at him going, 29 years of age, you're going to be a long time retired, but everybody changes direction. Lingard and the modern-day footballer are in a huge opportunity where they can substitute achievement for finances and they get the luxury of that because in most walks of life you have to be really really good to get really good money in football you don't and you can go somewhere else from far flung corners of the world Jesse Lingard has been really good he was fantastic for West Ham for for, for a short period of time and people people that are of a certain mindset can sustain it for a short period of time and then it's the proper players that have longer term careers that can do it on a consistent level and they're the ones that are remembered and they're the ones that are remembered Jesse Lingard will be remembered for me for TikTok videos or Playing brilliantly at the 2018 World Cup. Playing pivotal really? moments in the uh, FA Cup final moments. for Manchester United. Moments. I think moments. if you are, be, I think if you are respected, respected by your peers, you do it for You're 15, consistent. 20, 25 years. Well, well, 20 so, odd so, years. Certainly over a period, so significant period of time. And Deli Ali is a product of an environment where he's been built up in something probably that he wasn't in the first place and has lost sight of the reality of what it takes to be an elite footballer. Spend less time advertising Boohoo and more time focusing on what you should be doing, which is being an elite footballer. And the thing is, with football... You'll have good times and go with it because that's the that's the amazing time of your career. Then you'll get injured, which most of us do at some stage. Then can you show the courage, and resilience. The determination, resilience to get yourself back to that level? And because that's what top players do. Former and I think other players, permanent. other players, down tools, accept uh, at a different level of football and just get on with it. Um, just on the Danny Rose thing, um, playing for Watford under 21s over the last couple mm. of days when he's still contracted to uh, Watford. He's playing for Tottenham. Is that is that you okay as an owner with that? Look, I mean, I think Danny Rose is a difficult person to deal with from my perception. So what Watford are allowing him to do or not allowing him to do, I think it's because their interest level is probably very little. Mm. Um an incredibly talented footballer that's, that seems to have his own challenges because if his talent were to come to the surface rather than his perception of how the world treats him, then maybe he'd still but be But is that not part of level. talent? Having that ability to focus to when focus, you need to, yeah. to get a job done. I yeah. think that's part of a, I, I found, think that's part I, of I found it odd only for this reason. that I, I did a big show with Danny Rose a couple of years ago and I, I felt at the time that Tottenham had fallen out with him so much so that there was even a, a sort of suggestion that the people at Tottenham didn't have his mobile number because he mm. didn't want to be in contact with them. So the fact that he's now they've now embraced him with open arms and brought him back into the fold situations game. change, personalities yeah, change, absolutely. managers change. Manager. Yeah, true. And I think yeah. when, when you look at when you look at not just top sports people, top people in business, they find a way. Winners find a way to be successful. And whether that's humbling yourself, going out, doing extra training, going, do more research if you're in business, you know, tapping up people, getting that, that that information that you need to be successful. Winners find a way. And it's the same with footballers. And you look at Marcus Rashford now, I anticipate he's going to be great this season. Well, let's hope that he is because Maybe England not. certainly could do with him. Um, you two can have a private bet off air. I don't mind about that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, but listen, good luck to uh, Wayne Rooney because I think it's a, it's an opportunity for him to, to develop as Absolutely. a manager. And I think it's good for him that he's out of the goldfish bowl of being somewhere in England because he can't even go out and get a newspaper in England without having to take six or seven selfies. Whereas in the United States oh, it was he can a terrible sort of world. slip into <laughs> <laughs> there's only one thing worse than people talking about is people not talking about you and how many selfies do you have to take on your way in probably not as many as Wayne but that's but that's the flip side of a dis- you know footballers will tell you and f- people in the media will tell you that the moment the lights go down it's quite a difficult world to live in yeah. and you know rock stars coming off stage going back to empty hotel rooms causes depression there is a real privilege and a real benefit of being adored and to- applauded totally. and lauded that is not a hardship that is a privilege. But we weren't saying it was a hardship. We were you saying were that suggesting it, that he needs to be out of the goldfish bowl. It was, yeah, I was saying Get that he'd be out of the goldfish to... bowl because you're going to manage at an elite level and that's going to be a real goldfish bowl. <laughs> I was going to say, it gives him the opportunity to develop uh, as a coach. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.